National night out across the country, a chance for you and your neighbors to meet your first responders. The wet weather was a factor tonight, but that did not stop some towns. Channel 3's Dylan Furin takes a closer look at why this is much more than just a night of fun. It sounds like Sergeant Richard Kanata should be at a baseball game. He and other Norwich officers are on grill duty, making hot dogs, kicking off national night out. Sergeant Scott Meekles working on his 40th birthday tonight. It's just nice to always interact with the community and kind of bridge that gap, um, you know, interact with the kids and get, you know, get to know that we're here, just have some fun. For our first responders, tonight's focus is meeting people when there isn't an emergency. No one's having a good time when you're calling 911. This is a great opportunity to, to see our faces, see the police officers. We get to interact with the community under good circumstances. Families having a blast, kids leaving with their bellies full, new backpacks for school. And front row seats to a live magic show. While the food's delicious and everyone's loving the entertainment, tonight's also about education. Firefighters showing kids how they use the jaws of life to rescue someone trapped in a car. Dina Correa says she wants to educate her young sons. Peter and Anthony. What is ambulances for? What is the police is for? Fire truck, everything. The rain canceling several national night outs in our state tonight. Meriden moving its event inside Platt High School. The police department introducing its newest member, K9 John. We've been coming to National Night Out now for since she was a baby, since he was a baby for many years. Um, We've gotten to know a lot of the police community, the fire community, and the police dogs is always a big hit. Um, and we have a lot of fun getting to see everybody in the community. It's nice to have these interactions where we get to have fun. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.